set up a server for tracking with CapEye or Conversions API. Step number one, you're gonna choose a server solution. So you can choose from many different server options and depending on your needs and technical expertise. This is gonna get a little bit into the nitty gritty and might be more for a developer, but it's important to understand because sometimes we don't have developers and we have to be able to do it ourselves. So the cloud services, there's Amazon Web Service, there's Google Cloud Platform, which can be accessed through the GTM server container, which we'll talk through how to do it through GTM and Google Tag Manager, which is an awesome option. There's Microsoft Azure, there's different web hosting services, Bluehost, HostGator, SiteGround, and then there's a dedicated server. You can rent or own a physical server. So you got to be able to find what that server solution is for you. We typically use the Google Cloud Platform, sending it up through Google Tag Manager so that we have that conversions API starting to record. So we have our server solution. Now we're going to set up your server. You're going to create an account for that specific provider. You're going to launch a server instance. So if you're using a cloud service, you're going to launch a server instance, for example, an EC2 instance on Amazon Web Solutions. Then you're going to select an operating system from your server, typically Linux or Windows, and then you're going to configure your server setting. You're going to set up those basic configurations, including your security settings, user access, and different network settings. Number three, you're going to collect and process your data. And your server needs to be able to collect and really be able to process that data to then send it to, to whatever platforms it needs to be able to do. So here's how you're going to do that. You're going to install the web server software. You're going to install whatever software that you need to be able to do to get those web requests, to get those web events. And you're going to set up data collection. You're going to use the server side scripting language. Very, very technical, but it's important again to understand this like Python or any other ones. So you set up a script to log, let's say, for example, it's going to be purchase data when a user completes a transaction. So you're essentially setting up this back end tracking information. This can all be done really through chat GPT if you don't have a developer. So don't be worried about that. You just want to make sure you're going to be testing the events that they're actually working. But all of this you can set up on the back end so that when a user makes a purchase, send this data to the server, which then gets stored very securely in that server. And then it's able to process and collect that data. Step number four is where you implement Facebook conversions API. You have to send the collected data to Facebook. Facebook. In order to do that, you have to do it through Conversions API. So you generate an access token in the Facebook Events Manager. You go to the Data Sources section, you select your pixel, and you navigate to the settings. And under the Conversions API, you click Generate Access Token. So you're going to generate a specific access token for your specific Events Manager that you have with your account. And then you're going to configure the Conversions API using your server side script to send that data to Facebook using that access token so it can all match back to the right account, the right information. Step number five is where you're going to test your setup. You can use Facebook's test events tools in the events manager to verify that events are being received correctly. You can go through the whole process and make sure it all works. You can also set this up through Google Tag Manager, which we'll talk about briefly, but then you're going to want to monitor the event match quality and make adjustments as needed to improve data accuracy. So we're going to talk through event match quality, but that's making sure that it's able to gather all the data so that it can match back to the the user, even if it can't match back directly through the email, then first name and last name is great. Now you know it's able to match that back. So you have a higher match back quality. But in order to do that, you have to set up again all that server side tracking with conversions API, and then you're going to do client side tracking. So there's it's a dual approach. All of that is to make sure you're getting as much data as possible and the highest data quality because you're matching back the users. But process is much more technical. It's more focused for a developer. But if you don't don't have a developer, you can still do it through a Google Tag Manager or other areas, but it's important to set up conversions API through a server. You can get more into the nitty gritty, but you want to be able to access a server set up that data collection, then send that information back to Facebook. There's a lot of different ways to go about it, but I think it's important to understand the overarching theme that in order to get this data, you want to have that dual approach with client side or browser event, and then Facebook conversions API, which is done through server side tracking.